guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your friend, the Weirdo, Nick the And today I am painting rocks. I am showing you how I paint rocks. Well, kind of. This is my first time doing it. And I'm really in love with how adorable they came out. Like, this one's a little water balloon. And then this rock literally says, be your own rock. Like, that's just adorable to me. Um, first thing I had to do was clean them, so let's let's go. Let me just show you how it's done. Also, by the way, this was my first time, and I had a lot of fun painting. Okay, so first thing you want to do is grab a bowl or something you don't use anymore, and then you're going to want to throw your rocks in it, and then you're going to want to put a little bit of salt in for now, and then you're just going to go ahead and put some soap in it. It doesn't matter what kind of soap, honestly. I just decided to use liquid soap and then I filled the bucket up all the way with water, which it got really heavy. And then I put it in my bathtub and just put a little bit more salt in it and mix it with the toothbrush I was gonna use to scrape the rocks. Okay, so after you let your rocks sit for an hour, you're just gonna go ahead and take them out of whatever you have them in and put them into your sink <laughs> if you don't mind using your sink for this all I did was transfer them and then I dumped out all the water in my bathtub which I would later regret I should have put it down the toilet and then I grabbed a lid to the old ice cream container and I went ahead and I just threw some soap on there and I mixed it with a little bit of water so then after that I just like took this toothbrush and then I start scrubbing it to make like a foam kind of and then I just use that to scrub the rocks and I used too much soap I think because there was a lot a lot of soap left over and then all I had to do was just wash off the rocks after that and the rocks dry really fast honestly so they dried super fast surprisingly but they still had like a salty feel to them and I just wanted to make sure they were really clean so I used some alcohol in a rag and I just pour some alcohol onto a rag and I like wipe down the rocks <laughs> with the alcohol. So while I was waiting for that hour, I made some artwork that I was thinking about using on the rocks. And this is just some ideas I came up with. Okay, so you're just going to need some acrylic paint. This paint costs 50 cents per bottle. This is just a matte acrylic paint. And then you're just going to need a cup of water and some paint brushes to go with that. You could just use an old cup. You can see that I love this cup for painting and I have a couple of paintbrushes. And you're going to need something to put the paint inside of. Please make sure you use something that you don't mind messing up because paint, acrylic paint does stain some stuff. But like with these, use plastic. Cause, and you're just going to need some tape. Um, So I think I might do a how to paint your rocks tutorial soon. But this is just my first time, just a reminder. So here go a few clips of me painting the rocks. I was able to use pencil on this one and then I just went over it with permanent marker.
I have some googly eyes, so I decided to put them on the ladybug and the bumblebee. So I used Mod Podge just to seal all the rocks so none of the paint would chip or anything like that. So the strawberry turned out looking like a watermelon because I wanted to do like a pastel strawberry but it ended up looking like a watermelon. And the one with writing on it actually turned out pretty okay. I really liked it and I would recommend for anybody to do this and I'm really in love with this whole watermelon. Well it's technically half a watermelon. This small rock I had so many plans for it but I kept messing up on it. And the ladybug and the bumblebee are just so adorable and I would recommend for anybody to do this. Well, that's all I have for you today and they're just these like a little bit adorable rocks and they're all dry. I just love how they turned out. As always, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe, it helps out a lot. And as always with my DIYs, I'll leave no percent tips down below. If you want to see more of me, just like and subscribe and possibly hit that bell.